His name is William Harris Crawford, and he was one of the most influential and interesting political figures to come out of Georgia during antebellum times. He was a U.S. Senator from 1807 to 1813. He served as minister to France for two years after that, then became Secretary of War under President James Madison and Treasury Secretary under President James Monroe. That's Crawford's second from the left. In 1824, he ran for the presidency himself against John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, and Henry Clay, and wound up with more popular votes than Clay did. He finally died in 1837 while serving as a federal court judge. Now, you'd think such a distinguished man would be fondly remembered by his fellow Georgians, but sadly, that is not the case. Oh, there are a few historical markers along the road near where he was buried, but the grave site itself is a mess. Trash and empty beer bottles are everywhere. Even Crawford's gravestone is cracked and askew. Gregory Haverlsack is a history teacher at Riverside Military Academy. He's not a native Georgian, but he cares enough about Georgia history to raise a stink about what he thinks is the sorry plight of poor old William Crawford. Most of his contemporaries today find themselves uh, in much more luxurious surroundings. Henry Clay is buried in a very nice mausoleum in Lexington, and John C. Calhoun is buried in a uh, very nice tomb in South Carolina. And uh, as a result, uh, it just seems, again, sad that he's like this when all of his contemporaries are getting all the reviews. Haverlsack says he'd like to see the state maintain the old Crawford graveyard as a historical site, but if nothing else, he says, he and his cadets would volunteer to at least clean the place up if the owner of the property would give the okay. After all, Haverlsack says, this man came closer to becoming president than any other Georgian except Jimmy Carter. They say that fame is fleeting, and I think it fled a little too fast for Mr. Crawford. In Crawford, Georgia, B.B. Emmerman, Action News.